I don't want to talk about this wedding anymore. I just want to relax. Why would Adam marry somebody he doesn't love? Adam says he loves her. She doesn't love him either. Adam and Liza have a kind of arrangement that suits both of them. Brooke, 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 it's almost Christmas. You gotta do something. No, I know, I know. I tell you, we have a great dinner planned at the shelter and the Santa party. I got no, that no, guy. No, you remember no, that? Adam. He told Haley that Liza and him were getting married before Christmas. It's only three weeks away. That, that's why you can't waste any more time. Well, Stuart, it's, uh, it's not up to me. Yes, yes, it is. I, t I tried, but it didn't do any good. What do you mean? What did you try? We're talking. He, he doesn't pay any attention to anybody but you. Stuart, I don't have any right to interfere in Adam's life. Oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Don't you understand? You're the, you're the only one Adam loves. It's not Liza. So you gotta save him, Brooke. All right, all right, who is it? Your beloved fiance. Oh, come here. Oh, you look better in red. Oh, gee, thank you for noticing. All right, uh, well, what is it? Make it quick, I have a meeting. Yes, with uh, Meredith Peabody. Cancel everything else. Don't tell me what to do. Who's Marilyn Peabody? Meredith Peabody is the planner of weddings, bridal consultant extraordinaire. A woman so accomplished that the 400 genuflex at the very mention of her name. <laughs> She'll be here in about half an hour or sooner. Excuse me, why do we need a wedding planner when there's not going to be a wedding? Need I remind you of the night of the third degree? Sky and Haley questioning us about our nuptials? We covered. We covered beautifully. Yo, we did so well that Haley is quite sure you're having second thoughts. If anyone's going to buy this grand canard we're flinging about... Oh, listen, you know what? I sort of feel like I'm having second thoughts. And if I am, so what? Maybe we should just throw away this whole lousy plan and forget it. Well, then you'll lose your lousy half of WRCW, won't you? I can't lose what I never had. Oh, does that apply only to WRCW? Or to Tad as well? I'm... I'm... I'm tired. I'm tired of scheming. I'm tired of lying. I'm tired of pretending I'm in love. It makes me, it makes me feel rotten. And I mean, I think, where is this going? What is the point? The point, the point is that one of us, I hope both of us, will wind up deliriously happy. It ain't gonna happen. Forget what Jamie said. I once went to pick up Brooke for a formal dinner somewhere. I had a tux on. The kid asked me if I was gonna marry his mom. What's your point? point is, kids don't know squat. Maybe Gloria and, 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 and Tad are wrapped around each other, but that doesn't mean they're walking down the aisle. You know, no more. Just forget it. Oh, come on. You've got to, you've got to realize that... No, it... no, Adam, no. I don't have to realize anything. No, I don't want to talk anymore about the damn wedding. Well, watch your language while Meredith's here, please. You know what? I, I, I think I'm going to scream. Uh... There she is. Oh. Uh, Marion. Marion? Mother? What are you doing here? With luggage? Well, uh, it's exactly what it looks like, darling. Uh, I I'm moving in. How do you know that Adam still loves me? Oh, Brooke, you can... You can see it every time he hears your name or, or, or looks at you. It doesn't make any difference. Yes, it does. What do you want, Stuart? Do you want me to feel sorry for him? No, no, I want you to, to, to love him back. I have tried to do that. Well, it doesn't work. Well, can't you, can't you try again? Stuart, as many times as we have tried to get back together, we have failed. Look, bro, Adam is not the same man he was when you married him. He gave you room to be. He, 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 he let you see Pierce? He let me see Pierce? Mm -hmm. I wanted to see Pierce, so I saw him. Ah, uh, right. Well, I'm sorry it didn't work out with you and Pierce, but, but, but then I'm even sorrier for Adam. People make choices, and now Adam has made one. Yeah, the wrong one. Well, maybe I did too, Stuart, but you can't go back. Well, he didn't go back uh, on the one you made. What do you mean? Well, I mean, when the thing with Pierce came up and 
He, he, he gave you your space. He let you be free. And, and, and even when it didn't work out and you did, still didn't come back to him, he still let you be free. I suppose. I, I know Adam is probably used to having a broken arm by now. He should be. I guess he is. That's why, that's why Liza can get to him like that. That's, I think he's just given up, Brooke. I, he's lonely and I think he's just given up. Do you really think that Liza's just after his money? Don't you? No, you may be right, Stork. You mean about Liza? No, about Adam being vulnerable. Yeah, well, she sure knows how to get to him. You know, I was at WRCW the other day to see Tad, and um, Liza was in the office, and she was looking at wedding gowns and going on about how much they cost and how much Adam was willing to spend on this wedding. And then she wanted to know if I knew what his, how much he was worth. What'd you say? I told her that uh, her concern with his finances was indecent. Yay. Yeah. Um, then she told me that I misunderstood her, but because she, she loves him. She she loves is his money. Listen, Adam can take care of himself. No, he can't take, he, only his finances. He can't take care of his feelings. What good is having all the money and power in the world if you can't share it with the one person that you love? And the one person he loves is you, Brooke. Stuart, I don't know how I feel about him. Oh, come on, sure you do. No, honestly, I don't. And it would not be fair for me to ask him to put his life on hold while I try and figure it out. He wouldn't mind. It's not right. To, to ask him to do that, unless I could promise him something. Well, that's what you have to do first. You have to decide what you can promise him. But you got to do it soon, because if he and Liza get married, it's you and he, Adam are going to be miserable for the rest of your life. So please, Brooke, save him. Must I endure this humiliation again? Liza, I told you yesterday, I thought you were being overly dramatic. Well, remind me never to have a heart attack in front of you. Mother, you mean to tell me that you sold everything? No, I have lost everything. I am creditless. I have no solvency. I have no fluidity. I have nothing left. Uh, it's impossible. Except my uh, intelligence and my charm, my pride. Alert the media. Is that any way to treat your future mother-in-law, Adam? Mother, did you get rid of everything and, and, and give it to Jonathan Kinder? Yes, all of it. I, including the house, I turned it into cash. I uh, have totally underwritten the good life for Jonathan's floozy nail wrapper. I, I, I can't believe this is happening. Liza, I have nowhere to sleep. Please don't make me beg. Well, where did you stay last night? I, I bluffed my way into the Valley Inn. Well, Mother, there you go. I mean, Reggie, he, he'll let you stay there until you get on the good road. Reggie is no longer the manager. Well, Reggie, good old Reggie never would have made you pay. Enough money, anyway. Oh, sorry, Mom. Adam, stop it. Can't you just get on the horn and, and, and sell some real estate? You can hustle. I'm not going to touch that line. Liza, real estate is not a quick turnover. And anyway, if they run my car through that little machine at the Valley and they're going to see that I'm fundless, and they're going to ask me to leave. Oh, Mother. Look, don't worry. There was no dreadful scene. I, I, I'm not going to be on the front page of the intruder. I, I, I merely tiptoed out of the uh, service door this morning. Wait, wait, you left with a bill unpaid? I, 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 you, I can't believe this is happening. Liza, I have nowhere else to turn. All right, Liza, do you want me to crawl? You want me to grovel here? Mother, remember the last time that you were here. We tried to live together. We couldn't watch a video for an hour and a half without arguing. Liza, I am in extremis. Oh, that's not a pretty picture. What about Enid Nelson? Can't she take you in? No, no, she's moved into some small condo somewhere. Look. It's not like I'm asking you for your firstborn. I am asking you for shelter. You're about to get married. You're going to move into the Chandler Mansion. Please, Liza, can't I have the Colby loft? Please. 
clean. Let this be a man with a chainsaw. Liza Colby, I'm Meredith Peabody, and I'm about to make all your dreams come true. <laughs> Listen, Missy, I don't know what kind of fantasy voyage you're on, but I don't see any dreamscapes uh, in sight. Hey, buddy, well, could, well, why don't we talk right over here? Adam Chandler, I presume? Yes, yes I can't tell you how happy I am uh, and honored that you're on board for this wedding. For one horrifying moment, I thought that your bride had changed her mind. Oh, no, oh, no, just had a bad night, that's oh, all. Oh, yeah. nerves. Oh, that's to be expected. Yeah. So, as mother of the bride, I was hoping to help you plan the wedding. Wedding, wedding. wedding is the last thing I want to discuss right now, Mother. Darling, these are very difficult things. You've got to make calls and lists and arrangements. No, no, not now. No. Now, will you please leave? We can come back later. Later? Have you heard anything I just said? Just, just, just three o'clock, okay? Liza, I am a pauper. If you don't let me camp out here, I'm going to have my mail forwarded to the Brook English house. Perhaps I'd better come back at another time. I mean, is that the sort of life you want from me? A bag lady? I mean, moving from shelter to shelter and park bench to park I... bench? Like, <laughs> relying on the kindness of strangers? Is that what you want? No, 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 no. Don't even think about it. We have too much work to do. Yes, but Miss Colby and her mother... Oh, well, well, they just have a volatile relationship. You know how it yeah. is with mothers and daughters. Mother, <laughs> you break a nail and you start to channel Eleanor Adusa. Liza, that is really cruel. Well, if you're sure that I'm not in the way. Oh, you are the most wanted person in this hemisphere. Oh. Mm. Now, what date did you have in mind? Well, we love the holidays. Why not let the rest of the world celebrate with us? A lovely attitude. <laughs> we thought sometime before Christmas. Christmas? <laughs> now, you don't mean this Christmas? Uh, well, we most certainly do. <laughs> but that's impossible. Oh, that can't be done. Not even by me. What are you thinking? Liza, you are asking for trouble if you let a stranger plan the biggest event in your entire life. Oh, darling, we should be planning this together. Imagine the fun we could have, you know, the lunches and the shopping and... Excuse me, are you mental? One minute you're a displaced person, the next minute you're talking about tea and orchids. Would you make up your mind, are you Myrna Loy or Mamie Van Doren? Liza, this is the most important event in your entire life. That's it. You know what? I'm not talking about this wedding. One more minute. I am not lifting a finger. Oh, my. No, oh I my. just am actually could I, considering could I, could just... I, could, I, could I talk to you just for a moment? Oh, no, no, no. I know what you want to talk to me about, and I'm not uh, talking to you. You're about upset, it. darling. You're on overload. Yes, I am on overload. Well, then why don't you take a walk, you know, cool off a little bit and yes, uh, relax. Exactly. You'll feel I better. I am exactly, but I am driving. Liza, when are you coming back? Maybe never. Can I have the keys to the loft? <laughs> How'd the meeting go? Uh, it didn't. Jerry and Pete were felled by the flu, so we uh, rescheduled. Can Tampa go to press without a managing editor or an art director? Oh, well, they'd mow him from their deathbed if they had to. You know, so will I. Ink still courses through your veins, doesn't it? You bet. Well. Adam, wait. What? Um, well, before uh, the flu gets to us, too, I'd, I'd like to discuss something with you, if you have a minute. Sure, for you, anytime. What's up? Well, Stuart uh, dropped by this morning, and uh, he's worried about you. He is? Why? Oh, I think you know why. Well, you'll have to enlighten me. <laughs> what did he say? Well, he's... He's afraid for you, and... Uh, frankly, so am I.
Let me say, I... I made a mistake once. And it was a mistake that I promised myself that I would never make again. I would never hold anything you told me against you, bro. No, no, no. I made the mistake of trying to hold on to somebody when I knew that we could no longer live together. I mean, I... I not clinging on legally, because divorce is divorce, but... clinging on emotionally. Tom? The thing is, even when you think something is over, it is not over unless you let go. And when you let go, it means that you want someone to be happy. And I want you to be happy. Letting go. Um, I want you to be happy too, Brooke. I know. So... I'm just not sure that Liza will make you happy. You're not. Look, the other day I stopped in at WRCW to talk to Tad and Liza wanted to talk to me. Oh, yeah, go on, please. Adam, Liza was only interested in your finances. <laughs> well, it's, that's part of who I am. Why shouldn't Liza make inquiries? If, if this, this has a point, would you get to it? I'm just not sure how you'll take it. Brooke, you know you can say anything to me. Come on. Let me have it. I have no right, but if I don't say I... Say it. Uh... Just say it. I don't want to hurt you. You're not going to hurt me. Don't worry about that. Just... Just say it. You'll feel better. I'll feel better. If you marry Liza, you're going to be making the biggest mistake of your life. Bye.